This balance patch, Water Vampire, yet again has been buffed. This one, I think, puts him over the top. I'm very excited to use him. I'm. This is not sarcasm. This is not a joke. He is basically a Savannah with his skill 3 now. If you guys are not familiar with what it does, it attacks all enemies 5 times. Lots of multi-hits, which always lands as a critical hit on fire monsters, with each attack decreasing the attack bar by 20%. So, 5 hits, 20% each. That's 100% attack gauge reduction, 30% chance to decrease their defense for two turns. This was 20, now it's 30, which, I mean, it's still low chance, but you got five, tar five different chances to actually activate. Damage increases as the enemy's HP status decreases. It does so much. It does so much. We're going to test it out today. I have high hopes. Maybe I shouldn't, but it seems really good. First up, Dragon's B12. He's going to be our only defense breaker. I'm hoping this actually, well, the Inugami does defense breaks. So, let's see. We're going to let him do it. Oh, look at all that attack age decrease. That's ridiculous. These things are not going to get any turns. We're hoping between the attack age decrease on Veramos, the attack age decrease on Spectra. Look at that. That's beautiful. No attack age on the enemy team. Oh, my. He's a water savanna. He is a water savanna. He's very easy to skill up to. Because you could just fuse the fire one. You could fuse the, uh, the wind one. So, Killing Wave, absolutely ridiculous. So many multi-hits. It's not- he doesn't do crazy damage. He does- does defense breaks and a crap ton of, uh, attack age reduction. Ooh, I was hoping they were gonna use that on the boss stage, but let's see the boss. Killing Wave, everything att attack gauge decreased. Very nice. I didn't even bother putting the Abigail in here. I wonder if I'm gonna wind up regretting it. You never know. Okay, we got the weekend. Weekend doesn't really matter. Killing wave. Beautiful. All that attack. He, I mean, he did get a, an additional turn, but if he didn't, he would have gotten a turn right there. So, not bad. Not bad at all. We have no attack power. Well, we, we do damage based on uh, enemy max HP, but yeah, not bad at all. I actually thought we were going to kill that. So, I was, like, I was like, okay, we're done with the run. But the dragon got a turn. So... Yeah, it was good though. What do we get? 123? Not... Not bad at all. We're gonna do a little arena offense to not like a crazy arena offense test. I just want to see the amount of attack age decrease. Because there's so many chances. <laughs> that means you can fail more than once. Let's do... Uh, let's do this. Trap this maybe. Okay, we do actually trap it. Let's do Blossom. Don't revenge. You know she wants to revenge. Let's see some decrease. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you knew she was going to revenge. She did uh, She did stop us from attack power buff. Well, she did strip the attack power buff. Sadly. But uh, yeah, not not the worst. Not the worst. Kind of got bad RNG, but uh, that happens. Just in case, we're going to use it for uh, Necropolis. But just in case, we need that little extra HP in dungeons. I'm not going to try him in uh, Giants. You know <laughs> you know what's going to happen in Giants. Actually, he might be not the worst in Giants because um, he has that skill too. But for the rest of it, probably not the greatest, right? All those multi-hits, it's skill 3. That's, that's going to be painful. That's going to be painful. So, he does have multi-hits on skill 1. He does have multi-hits on skill 3. So, he should be good on the boss. I'm hoping we can get enough... Oh, I was hoping he was going to roll the proc enough to get the defense break on there. Yeah, there's the defense break. He's not like the craziest thing for Necropolis. He just does have multi-hits, so I figured let's try him out. And let's see if it's going to be good enough. Boss battle. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. And no defense breaks. This, it, it happens, it happens, it happens. I don't really... He's on revenge? Okay, I didn't realize he was on revenge. Okay, Necropolis is just terrible. Okay, there we go. He doesn't do a crazy amount of damage though. That's that's kind of the thing. He's uh, he's got more. I think he's got like 600 and something base attack. He's got decent uh, decent enough HP though. All right, special assault, lots of damage there. Prison. Yep. Yes. This guy just wants to revenge all day. Alright, let's see if we can do enough multi-hits. Necropolis is just kind of a pain. 
So don't uh, don't get too mad at him for that. It's just Necropolis takes kind of a while. Oh, uh, we're gonna hit with uh, with Shaman on that though. Sadly. Yeah, uh, I was hoping we were gonna get. Uh, there we go. It's not. It's not a very fast run, but at least we got to see. <laughs> New best guy. I have not been farming this guy. I have no interest in farming Necropolis Abyss B12. We're gonna try it now on siege defense. Uh, the offense. We're just putting LD fives in because it's fun. So let's see. Do they get the stunts? Okay, they get the stunts. Killing wave. Lots of attack age decrease. Oh, we got a weaken too. And then, had the violent proc there. All right, not the worst. Not the worst. We're gonna turn here. Let's see if we can come back from this. Ooh, that's nasty. All right. Let's see. He's got the glancing now. Killing. Ooh, killing wave. He's about to killing wave himself. All right. And their revenge. I suppose we'll take him out, but. We shouldn't have taken him out. We shouldn't have taken him out. And Molly's just gonna sell all this, isn't she? So far, so good. Let's try the Sanctuary of Dreaming Fairies right now. Level 5. We have to use a single element uh, team for this. Nice defense, Merc. So it was wind units, wind units. So. Do we have... Oh, no, don't, don't do it. Don't do it there. Oh, my goodness. Do we have uh, one of these dungeons that's... that? That's that's solid right there. That's solid. It's skill three. It's well, of course it's the skill three. That's what we're, sh we're, we're what we're showing. All right, we got the team up. Does he have skill three ready? Is this not the right werewolf? This is not the right werewolf. I don't think this werewolf has ruins. Oh, I built the second one of these. It's not the right werewolf. Okay, can can they still win with, with the wrong werewolf? Or do we have to actually use the right werewolf? We can? No, he doesn't get a violent proc. Okay, oh, well, that's dead. So we used an unruined werewolf, and uh, we're hoping to still be able to do something crazy here. Oh, no, don't do that. All right, we'll try this, uh, we'll try this again with a proper one. We'll still try it again. That was, we got lucky, but uh, yeah, we'll try it again with a proper werewolf. We're gonna use the werewolf that actually has runes now, because this werewolf, uh, not not so much on the rune department. Let's uh, do this, and theoretically, we should do better. Uh, there are some wind units, so. Oh, he doesn't even want to do his skeleton. He's like, there's wind units, I don't want to do my killing wave. Oh, he got some, he got some. But you know, the, the benefit is uh, against fire units. The biggest benefit. Hopeful. Nice. Is this level? Yeah, this is level five. I'd, uh, these things are going down a little quick, so I'd, uh, <laughs> oh, don't use it there. I was gonna say, I had to remind myself. Fantastic. Please use, okay. Please use additional turns. Does he have a skill three? Available that he's going to use. I mean, he had it available. I was wondering if he was going to use it, actually. So. I'm wondering if the Ikaru, uh, the Ikaru, the Ikaru's, uh, defense is actually enough for this. I used the one with the highest defense, but let's see. You never know without the other support runes if it's going to be enough unless you actually do the calculations. Okay, killing wave. I would have liked him to save it for this one, but I suppose it's not the end of the world. And goodbye, Susano. Just kidding. Susano stays alive. Can we proc? <sighs> he proc, but he didn't do uh, what we wanted him to do. Finish it off with killing? No, finish it off with none of that. All right, so it did a thing again. We're on TOA 100 now. I'm pretty sure we could just do this with three units. So let's see if that's indeed the case. Oh no, we don't want to do- Hey, this is actually really solid for this specific level. All those fire and water units. Okay, TOA 100. As if we were going to just do uh, three men of this. 
LOLs, but should should actually work. I have confidence that this is gonna actually work. Decrease tech bar. Which one do we? I for, I keep forgetting which one does which. We're just gonna keep going for the. Maybe we'll do this. We'll keep going for the boss. A little bit of damage. I mean, it's only 100. It's not like TOA hard 100 or TOA hell. But. We can see if hopefully we keep these things attack age decreased enough. <laughs> Just kidding. If we proc though, we do proc. All right. All that attack age reduction. Very nice. Not too shabby. And he's just on speed crit damage uh, accuracy, actually. This crazy guy, of course he's picking the Liesel. And I'm so proud of him too for it. Does he ban out the more? Yes, he does. Let's see. People don't appreciate the... Uh, people don't appreciate the Liesel. A lot of people don't even care about what he does. They don't know what he does. They don't care about what he does. They're like, yeah, he's just bad. I'm not going to ban him. Please win! Oh, come on! You can't... Why are you not stripping? Why are you not stripping? All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can make something happen. I mean, not not us. We're not making anything happen. Is that enough? That is enough. All right. I feel personally invested in this because a lot of times Zig. Oh, they just concede. Okay. The true power of Liesel because a lot of times Zigbear uh, uses similar stuff to what I use. We think. Alike. I'm sorry for insulting him by saying we, that, that we think alike, but yeah, this is like the same stupid nonsense that I like to use, right? Double robos and all that stuff. So this is what he's on. It's not really that crazy, to be honest. He is on Violent and Blade. Speed for damage accuracy. Some of these runes are like, this is 26 speed is nice, but like it's not. It's not anything ridiculous. And then we have, what, some additional? I think my damage built on wind, really? Well, that's not the artifact that he should have, but uh, yeah. Skill 3 accuracy, skill 2 crit damage, additional damage. Additional damage is good. These are not really great <laughs> artifacts, though. Uh, I think attack plus in his artifacts is actually really nice because he's got low base attack. But we're not even stacking very much attack on him. So we're just using him as a control unit. He does a lot of de uh, decrease attack gauge and defense. And then he also does the other, uh, the other debuffs with skill 2. So pretty solid unit. I'm really, I'm really liking this. I'm actually going to use him in RTA, no joke. Just because he's, he's a water savanna for the most part. Anyway, that's it for this one. Great unit now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys appreciate him. I'm sure most of you don't. I'm sure most of you still won't, but I appreciate him and I plan on using him a lot. See you guys always in the next one.